Okay, so now I'm sure many of you out there have heard and are familiar with the term simp. Some of you may have even been called a simp, and if you don't know what simp means, it's ba 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 ba. And I can understand why this term was popularized. It's a good single syllable pow. It feels nice to call someone a simp. It doesn't feel nice to be called a simp, but here's the thing. I like the original version better. I like the old slang better, and maybe that's just because I'm old, but I'm here to make my case to you. You see, back in the day, we used to call simps white knights. And I think there's a lot of things that works for white knights that just don't isn't there for simp. For one, most people don't know that simp stands for ba 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 ba. White knight, it comes across instantly. It's very clear what you're calling the person, and it, it calls out what exactly it is they're trying to do. See, in the case of a simp, we definitely have a specific, you know, P that the person is defending and going out of their way to idolize in this case, but I like the white knight because it isn't necessarily an insult. It's just a calling of attention to the fact that a person is going out of their way to be chivalrous for a person. It's almost sarcastic in a way. What I really like about it is if the person you are white knighting for deserves it, yeah, then by all means, go out and be a white knight. But if that's the case, maybe that's why simp needed to be created. Maybe simp is the dark brother of the white knight. Maybe white knight wasn't doing a good enough job of stopping people from white knighting. I guess at the end of the day, what's important is make sure that the P that you are eyeing is not in fact an M and make sure if you're going to be a white knight, you're doing it for the right princess.